I think he's stealing these bikes. I think I think we just stole a couple bikes. How about a Meteor 350? <laughs> All right, I'm doing it. I wasn't used to kind of a, a mid-forward control. All right, it's got a heel-toe shifter, I see. Oh, it's kind of low. I'd, I'd move the heel up a little higher. So I'm going to stick with a toe shifter. Hmm. Little 350. Well, this thing gets quiet. I thought it stole out. What do I think for a 350cc bike? It's actually a little bigger than I thought it was going to be, size-wise. Again, I'm 6'2". Rider triangle is not too bad. I was kind of... The mid-fords were kind of weird at first, but... I think it's because I was riding the other bikes and the pegs were back further, but... This isn't bad. She's got Captain. It'll take a while. I might catch up with him. All right. It is so far it's pretty comfortable. For a small bike that's actually not that small. This bike's pretty comfortable. All right, this is kind of a bumpy road. But the suspension's sucking up those bumps pretty well. Okay, performance. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this. It's a 350. If you think you're buying this bike because you're gonna be racing your buddies, you're nuts. This is a cruiser, a small cruiser. It feels kind of big. It feels a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. hit rev limiter trying to go up the hill I'm getting passed by a Himalayan with two people on it that's not fair I had him off the line and then he uh, he caught me on the hill because this little 350 just doesn't like the hill too well. I probably could have downshifted and really got it going. I'll tell you what though. I did hit the rev limiter twice and it, I don't know if you can adjust that out. Because it doesn't seem like I was really revving it out. So I'm assuming they have it set so you don't over rev this engine. You know these are test bikes. All right, let's check out some steering. Wow, this thing. You probably can't tell on the GoPro, but holy crap, I'm dropping this thing right on its side. Let's do a quick little uh, let's do a quick little walk around on it. 
Meteor 350. For such a small engine, it's actually a pretty big bike. And again, stock exhaust. Ah, I've heard worse. That's not too bad. I'm not a big fan of blacked out bikes that have just a little bit of random chrome thrown out. I mean, if you're going to do black, do everything black. You know what? I don't mind this bike at all. It's a 350. Ride it like it's a 350. Understand that this bike is made for cruising. And you won't be disappointed. I like it. You know, I'm not going to... I like the INT 650 better. It's more my style. I, I just like the shape of that bike. I do want to try the... Continental GT, I haven't had one of those yet. Alright. Let's go. You know, I, I am pretty impressed with the way this bike handles. I'm really impressed. I've been on bikes that cost more than this that were kind of sketchy. Again, it's not a race bike definitely a cruiser if you drive it like a cruiser wow I don't like riding two up so I can't I'm not gonna give you a, my opinion on what it's like to ride with a person you want that opinion old man Ronan's got a bunch of good videos on him and his wife riding around with luggage on a Meteor 350 you put saddlebags all that on the, on one plus the second person Gets on the highway doing 70. Wow, that that's impressive for a little 350. Tell you what, this bike is comfortable. The seat's not bad. I know everyone complains about uh, the Royal Enfield seats. This one isn't too bad. Oh, the kid on the back wants me to race. Let's see if I can get up to 70. <laughs> I got about 68. Yeah, I don't need to make a bad impression for the kid. It's not my kid. Not my fault if he becomes a hoodlum. All right, I don't know how many miles I put on this bike. Yeah, I, I actually like this. Nice little cruiser. Holy crap, I know where I am. I didn't. I think he's stealing these bikes. I think I think we just stole a couple bikes. Oh boy, what's he doing? Are we stealing bikes? <laughs> yeah. Yep, he's stealing a bike. This engine's I hit 68. Yeah, I was not quite topped out, but I was cranked out and having a hard time catching up. This engine's got a weird click to it. I don't know, you get that exhaust loud enough, you don't hear the engine clicking. You know, I, I found that on that first bike. That red one, it sounded like it had a, something in the front of it. Oh, I didn't notice it. I balanced it back out and checked the oil level. <laughs> This bike isn't that bad. Huh? It's not that bad. I, I like it. I mean, it's only a 350, but because it's a 6 it's got some torque to it. I like it. What do you mean? Don't tell Mike, but it's going to. I took it off-road. <laughs> oh. All right. Before my battery dies, first impressions on the Meteor 350. I'm 6'2". I actually fit fine. The, the rider triangle, that definitely helps. 
I thought the mid Fords were a little odd at first, but man, it's pretty comfortable. The seat, I don't mind the seat. Single cylinder engine, not too bad. It doesn't vibrate a lot. I barely feel it in the handlebars. A little bit in the foot pegs. And actually the seat, I don't feel it as much in the seat as I thought I would. All right, I think the Royal Enfield guy is gonna be like, where the hell have you been? Hey, old man, your blinker's on. All right, would I buy one of these? That's a tough question. This is not my style of bike. If you're just learning how to ride or you want to learn how to ride, I would definitely go check this bike out. But it's small enough to learn on, it's lightweight, it's nimble. You don't have to be a new or beginner rider. I think this bike could be just fine for somebody looking for a nice little, nice little cruiser. You don't feel like jumping on your 900 pound Harley? You just want to go out and rock it around for a while? I would I buy this bike I don't have too many complaints about it obviously I haven't ridden it very long give me a week with it I'll let you know but as of right now I don't have a problem I would uh, your blinkers on again dummy <laughs> oh boy I think this guy thinks we stole his bikes. Ooh, uh. If you're on the fence about this bike, go check one out. Definitely need to go check one out. It's it's comfortable. It's a lot bigger than I thought it would be for a 350. Again, it's a cruiser. You're not out racing, even though we we kind of were. Um, yeah. I'll throw up some specs on this bike in a minute. All right, that's it for now. My final thoughts on the Royal Enfield Meteor 350 are simple. I was very surprised how much I liked this bike. Even with a stock seat, it was very comfortable. And I don't say that about stock seats too often. I'm six foot two, I fit perfectly on this motorcycle. I was not cramped at all. I think part of the reason is because of the frame or I don't know, the overall girth of this bike just seemed much larger, especially compared to other bikes in its class. I uh, like the Honda Rebel 300, which I was very cramped on that bike. Performance of the Meteor 350 is fine. It's nothing to brag about. It's a 349cc single air-cooled engine with about 20 horsepower and 19.9 foot-pounds of torque, which kind of sounds underwhelming compared to, well, let's say the Honda Rebel, which is a much smaller engine at 286 cc's but has 25 horsepower. The Meteor 350's lack of horsepower isn't really a deal breaker for me since I care more about uh, look, comfort, quality. Even though I don't normally like this style of bike, I found myself really enjoying this motorcycle more than I thought I would. So I thought the bike looked great, it was extremely comfortable, and the typical Royal Enfield quality with fit and finish that was just as nice as the other bikes in its class, uh, but they cost thousands of dollars more. So for a bike that's in the $4,600 to $4,800 range, I'd say it's hard to beat this bike. Would I own one? Well, when I test rode this bike, my expectations were just go out and have fun and I probably won't be too impressed. Well, I was definitely wrong. It didn't take too long before I realized this is more than just a beginner's bike. It's not a highway cruiser, but I could ride this bike all day long at 60 miles per hour while being comfortable and know that this bike will have no problems doing it either. And the caveat? All Royal Enfields come with a three-year unlimited mile warranty with three-year roadside assistance. Most of your twenty dollars and $30,000 bikes don't even come with that warranty. So to answer my question, yes, I would love to have a Royal Enfield Meteor 350 in my collection. So thanks for watching, and if you like this kind of content, do me a favor. Go down and hit that subscribe button. And while you're there, 
punch that like button. And don't forget, life is short. Get out and ride. Oh boy. Such a video.